The Akhtha family has started a movement in India. Muslim nomads from Indian-administered Kashmir, they are the poster family for an epidemic of sexual abuse against girls and women. She was a very beautiful and clever girl. She was pretty. Why was she killed? For what reason? Rafiza is the mother of eight-year-old Asifa. Police charges released this week say Asifa was abducted in January by eight Hindu men, including police officers, and raped for six days before she was killed. Everyone knows the details about the case now, and even God knows. These perpetrators must be asked why they killed such an innocent soul, and it must be investigated. India's ruling BJP has defended the investigation into Asifa's death after the officer in charge took bribes to protect her killers. But activists say the government is apathetic towards sexual abuse and that has created a culture of impunity in India. Protests swept northern India after Asifa's story was shared. And they grew on Saturday when BJP lawmaker Kuldeep Singh Sengar was arrested for the rape of a teenage girl. The alleged assault happened nine months ago, but he was only charged after the victim set herself on fire. Go back just a few years to 2012 and mass demonstrations gripped India when 23-year-old Jyoti Singh was gang raped and tortured on a bus in Delhi. Her death pulled sexual violence in India out of the shadows. This week, Prime Minister Narendra Modi tried to get ahead of a fresh wave of fury. As a society, as a country, we are all ashamed of it. In any part of the country or in any region, incidents like these shake human sensitivities. I want to assure the country that no culprit will be spared. On the hills of Indian-administered Kashmir, Modi's words mean little to eight-year-old Saima. She has lost her playmate. She misses a sea for a lot, she tells us. She misses her every day. Impunity, apathy, exploitation, words Saima doesn't understand, but little girls in India pay the price for them all the same. One day she took out horses to graze and someone killed her. Her body was found a week later. They didn't allow us to bury her there. She was buried in another place. With the Sifa gone, now she takes the horses to graze. Charlotte Ballas, Al Jazeera.